Hey everyone, my name is Elizabeth Bennett. I am your worship leader here at Grace Community Church. I'm here with my family. This is my dad, Bennett, my mom, Alice, my brother, Steve, and my youngest brother, Joel. Um, we are here to just share our testimony on how fasting and prayer has impacted our lives over the years. The year 2020 was a year full of expectation and hope. I couldn't wait to see how things would unfold in my family. And like many of you, I've spent hours in fasting and prayer since the beginning of the year. Even as we have been hit with the pandemic and we are in times of uncertainty, the Lord protected and provided uh, my family uh, in unbelievable ways. Mm -hmm. The first deliverance as a result of fasting and prayer came in the early days of our marriage. We had a complication. There was miscarriage. Doctors even told that you may never have uh, children and they started giving us medical options. But we as a couple decided to put everything aside and choose the option of crying before the Lord, fasting and praying for three days and three nights. After two months, all honor and glory to God, Alice conceived and God blessed us with a precious gift, our daughter Elizabeth, and with two more precious gifts, Steve and Joel. And yes, uh, Bennett and me have completed 26 years of married life and what was impossible in our life turned to a possibility. Uh, as it says in Genesis chapter 18 and verse 4, is anything too hard for the Lord? The answer is definitely nothing is too hard for the Lord. Today, not just with one child, but with three children, we are able to serve the Lord as a family. Just like everyone else, we also had many challenges, but every time we have depended on God through fasting and prayer, we have received mighty deliverances. Our testimony is based on the faith statement in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Personally for me, um, fasting has two important points. One is where I can set apart quality time to spend reading the word of God, hearing from God uh, and uh, through by meditating on his word. And the second uh, important point is where I can pour out my heart to God, cry out to him in prayer within the four walls of my room shut inside because the word of God says, our heavenly father who sees everything in secret rewards us openly. Fasting isn't always easy, but um, I've, you know, in my experience of fasting, it's always been just a sweet time um, and you just feel so near to the Lord. We've done different kinds of fasting too, where, you know, uh, we've done social media fasting where we can, you know, just put aside, um, you know, all of that. And instead of spending time in that, we would turn and uh, just read the word of God instead. And we feel just so close to the Lord in those times or when we've chosen to just uh, put aside things that, you know, we can even sometimes tend to idolize without realizing. And so um, it is just such a powerful, powerful experience. And um, I just feel like God really has revealed himself to us in such uh, beautiful, beautiful ways. And uh, personally, I have not fasted myself, but I am excited and I am looking forward to being able to do it with my family, mm -hmm. as well as the Grace family uh, this coming year. Yeah. Like I'm also excited to uh, do this with my family in the coming year. So we just want to thank Grace Community Church for um, just emphasizing and um, uh, just pushing us to do, uh, you know, fasting and uh, to be in prayer. Um, and uh, we just uh, hope it really blesses you as much as it has blessed us in our lives. God bless you all.